Hello. Hello, you lovely folks. How you doing? Yeah. You good? Are you good? Yeah. I'm very good. Yeah. I'm. 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 I'm I think. Oh, I might be. I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna see how this goes. Yeah. Uh, you see how it goes, go. and hopefully you won't cop a mouse in the meantime. Oh, I have a feeling that we're gravely underpowered for where I want to take us. Well, that's fine, but you, you, I like the fact that you completely glossed over the fact that I said you're going to cop a mouse, which is another amazing Victorian phrase. Yeah, what does that mean? It means uh, to get a black eye. Cop a mouse? Yeah, cop a mouse. That's a weird thing. Yeah, be great. Apparently, um, the term church bell is uh, to describe a talkative woman. Oh, I thought it was going to be like your willy. No, <laughs> no, that's, I, I don't know. That's maybe that's where bell end came from. Maybe, or maybe just because it looks like a bell. Yeah. You know, made of metal and bronze. Well, I don't know about your penis. Oh, was... <laughs> oh, that was predator so... dog. Oh, it's the uh, woman from Midsummer. <laughs> she can fuck off. <laughs> Twat. A new brick boy. Yeah. You're gone. Don't sell me a brick. Which is another Victorian phrase, mm. but don't lie to me. That makes some sense. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I like that one. Don't sell me a brick. Have or... you just been looking up Victorian phrases? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because because after the because I mean in that previous episode where I mentioned um wherever the fuck it was. Um what was it what was it that we mentioned before? I forget, but anyway, it was it was all part of um, it was all part of the same list, and there were certain ones that stood out to me. Oh, here we go. We're heading towards yet another spooky. Oh, it's Resident Evil Four. Yeah, but instead of Lee on its horses. Yeah, and a carriage. Have, Hello. You, not have you not seen this book? Yeah. Or have you? What a board. Now, the speedrunner, Bloodborne Twitch streamer, Jesus, his toast, which I highly recommend anyone who's interested in watching speedrunners goes and watches. Toast! He, uh, when he's doing his speedruns, and he does this bit, yep. he always play, plays the magic school bus thing. <laughs> 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 he lets the entire video play and yeah. just plays the magic school bus. See, I, if it was me, I'd go with the play bus thing. Well, he's American. Oh, fair enough. Don't they, don't they have play bus in America? No, they have the magic school bus. Oh, okay, yeah. Different thing. But Is this the magic school bus? bus? Revolving a, a bus. Yeah. One thing really irritates me. Where are we me. going, Mark? We're off to see the wizard. No, we're not. We're going yeah. to Kane House House. Kane House House. <laughs> Kane House <laughs> I think it's a castle. Yeah, but um, it's the coolest fucking area in the game. It is. Yeah, it's very um, Dark Souls. Yeah, and you can completely mess with the boss. The fuck it up. Oh, I know, I know, the one on the rooftop. Yeah, mm. he's an asshole. Absolute hey. bastard. Proper cheese grinder. But one thing, one thing always really annoyed me about the introduction to play bus when I was a kid, and What's even that? and Look even how fucking cool that is. Man. I know. Oh. This in any other game, this would be DLC. Well, not in Bloodborne. Bloodborne is a full game apart from the DLC. Yes. But going back to what I'm saying. What, what it, are you saying? It really there's there's one thing that always really annoys me in the introduction of uh, Playbus. And it's the bit where they they sh they they cut they jump shot to inside the the bus as it's being driven. The bus is going straight on, yet the wheel is being turned all the way to the left and all the way to the right. Which means which makes me think that that driver is irresponsible oh, and has great. and has cut the brake cables. And also disable the steering. Probably. I don't remember it, so I can't add to this. Play bus. Incredible bit that you're doing. I do, however, remember Super Ted. Yeah. And Super Ted was the shit. Mother Nature. And apparently I can do too good an impression of Skeleton. Go on, then. No oh, thanks. I've got a bone for you. <laughs> That's how <laughs> skeletons speak. <laughs> Isn't that just Kenneth Williams? He sounds like Alan Carr. <laughs> Oh dear. But what's Super Ted? That's how Skeleton speaks. So I like to think that Ted, not Ted, that Skeleton was the first uh, gay character on children's television. Uh, no, because Kenneth Williams did. You fucking leechy pregnant flea woman! 
Yeah. Yo, what? What the fuck is this? That's um, that's the chick from. Uh... That's what sadness looks like. <laughs> it's the chick from. Uh, and on this the day, ring. and on this day, sadness got up and grew legs and a tongue and uh, fucked y'all. And fucked y'all. I'm gonna bend me over backwards. <laughs> no, I was gonna say no, surely because um, you had Will of the Wisp. From the sixties or seventies, that was voiced by Kenneth Williams. I, don't, I never watched. I don't think I watched that. I'm not as old as the sixties. Well, no. I tell you. I tell you how. I tell you how I. I kind of got into it. I'll, t- I'll tell you. I tell. I tell. I tell you. Yeah. No, I had. Um, you sound I, like Foghorn Leghorn. I say. I say. I say, boy. <laughs> like a middle class British <laughs> Foghorn Leghorn. Foxton Leghorn. Foxton Leghorn. Foxton Leghorn. Yeah. No, um, I'll tell you how I got into it. Um, do you remember, remember? I can't remember if it was Dark, if it was the Dark Souls playthrough, but I had that. I related that very sad story about um, that ex-girlfriend I had that we had to split up because of the war. Yeah, the yeah. Middle Eastern girl. Yes. Well, her family Fucking grew up. Again. Her family grew up watching that cartoon, and she watched it when she was a very young kid. And one one day we were out, and she bought the DVD of like all the episodes, and it's a really kind of quaint yet very weird. Um, sort of like old 70s cartoon where the animations just it's almost like literally they've sort of gotten tracing paper and sort of drawn two different characters on each bit and then just sort of like you know sort of whip them back and forth really quickly in front of a camera to give the illusion of movement right but it had a really jaunty theme tune and Willow the Wisp was he was like a living fart really more than anything yeah he was just a little cloud yeah but the the evil character was an evil TV I did watch Willow the Wisp. Yeah, exactly. Everyone, every that's the thing. Everyone always says, "Oh no, I never watched it," and, and then you, you describe it to them, and they go, "Oh fuck, I remember that." Yeah, I did watch that. Did you ever watch the Dreamstone? Oh, hang on, the Dreamstone. It was the thing where, like, the Dreamstone was owned by no, the there Dream was the, yeah, and there was a giant fucking kind of skeletal reptile-looking thing in a massive throne, wasn't yep. there? Yes, and there was. Didn't he have like a? He had a pit underneath him with all yep. these like kind of weird. And that's like that's where he drops everyone who. All his yeah, insubordinates. that was dark as fuck. All I remember that. Yeah, that's where he drops yeah. them. And fucks them right up. It does. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Just fucking it, ruins it. Turns them into those things, doesn't it? What are you doing? Oh, fuck you. I'm gonna wreck yeah. you. Yeah. You remember Teddy Ruxpin? I do remember Teddy Ruxpin. Come dream with me tonight. That's the only bit. Actually, no. It goes. Let's build a giant airship. And sail into the sky. Let's build a giant wall and keep the Mexicans <laughs> out. <laughs> Teddy Trump's <spin. laughs> Teddy Trump's spin. Yeah. That's all fake news, cock the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay to see someone do a mock up of that. Teddy Trump's spin. Oh, they burst! They burst as well when you kill them! Oh, they're all glistening and... Ugh. It's like popping a giant blood blister. Yes. <laughs> the, 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 the intro music to Count Duckula starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> Castle Duckula. Uh, look at that. Look at that thing. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the it. floor! Bosh. You are not doing a very good job. <laughs> Were they actually cleaning the floor? Yeah. Or, okay. Clean the floor. Clean the floor. <laughs> oh, this joke's gonna get old. <laughs> so no, quick. it's it's great. It, how, oh, hello, how, yeah. spooky bitch. Stop being a spooky bitch. Yeah. Look at that blunt Tonitrus, force trauma. Just actually wrecked her. It wrecked her in the rectum. Yeah, like a giant sparkly fist. And we've just right picked the, up a right up right in the bum. Oh, I was gonna say I thought that was a ghost character. I didn't realise that was an enemy. Oh yeah, it's, it's a yeah, a nasty lady. A nasty lady. It's a spooky bitch. It's a hoe. It's a blood. It's a blood. I was gonna say bloodstorm, but that's a totally Jesus. different game. It's a bloodborne hoe. <laughs> Where's Frodo when we need him <laughs> to scare the ghosts away? <laughs> he just jumps in. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. I'm Frodo when I shout at ghosts. 
That'd be a cartoon I'd watch. <laughs> Frodo the Ghost Shouter. The Ghost Shouter? Yeah, because he shouts with ghosts. Yeah, he does. Jesus fucking Christ, look at all these spooky women. I'm gonna kill them with my axe. My cat's gonna sit in the background and scream. Please don't kill me, the cleaner begs, but it's too late, that <laughs> bitch is dead. She missed the spots on the floor, that's not what I'm paying her for. I'm paying her for perfection. The dusty bitch can't do the job properly, calling immigration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trump, dial it down a bit. I'll get the maid to bring you some cove. We what? made that joke That's before. So many ghosts in here. Yeah, well, I mean it's a more, haunted castle. So it's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but more to the point, how come you can hit them without using a uh, transient curse? Because it's made, oh! it's made of iron. The axe is made of iron. Yes. And iron, I learnt from watching the Supernatural, hurts ghosts. Does it now? It does. See, everyone's like, oh, Supernatural. <clears throat> that, that gay ghost show. First of all... It's great. It's amazing. Yes, it and is. And that's the end of that conversation. <laughs> yes. but it taught me end of. It taught me everything that I knew about uh, killing, killing ghosts. ghosts. So now, I feel that if I was in a haunted so castle... So hang on a minute. So are you, saying, are you saying now that because of Supernatural, you're discounting everything you ever learned from watching the Ghostbusters cartoon as a kid? Well, I have more... I mean, I think everything in Ghostbusters, like the science is sound. I worked it out yeah. by um, pretending... And I have the, like the thing with Ghostbusters is not everybody has access to a nuclear reactor to put in a Hoover on their back. Yeah, or a custom '59 Chevy Hearse. Uh, sorry, Cadillac Hearse. I do, however, have access to iron. <laughs> so. Well, this is a bit. This I think. Yeah, Bloodborne set a little bit before the era of Ghostbusters. Yeah. So in this case, this is just known as like ye old ghost twatters. Look at all these spooky wenches. Whoa, that's a lot Gonna of spooky wenches. Why are they being so spooky? If there's something strange in your neighbourhood, just go to the shed and grab something made of iron, mate. <laughs> if there's something strange, fuck them up, and it don't look good. Ghost twatters. Smack them with an axe. Ghost twatters. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> did you see that haunted, yeah, candle the haunted candelabra? Yeah. Liberace ghost lives on. <laughs> he does. Oh, get away! You lumpoly fuck. I do love that insult. It makes no sense. What lumpoly fuck? You lumpoly fuck. Yeah. Well, I think, yeah, because I think. I, think I we... wonder how many children have been conceived with a lumpoly fuck. I don't know. Do you reckon. Do you reckon it's something they recorded on their books? Um, how many fucks <laughs> were done in lumpoly? <laughs> yeah, how many, like. like I don't know. Three star hotel rooms got deflowered. <laughs> defiled. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely defiled. Glorious. Oh, hello. Stop being spooky, you spooky wench. She's dead. And I'm nicking the her iron, treasure. The iron did its job. Noble dress. Put the dress on. I'll put the dress on. Yeah. I mean, fuck now it. <laughs> Oh, actually, in yeah, because we are a woman. We are, yeah. <laughs> Look at that mask as well, though. Which, <laughs> yeah. We've, we've just basically dressed up as one of one of the spooky women we've been killing. I've got a really good idea. It's a terrible idea, but I'm going to do it. Do it. Um, dog hat. She's got Bloody stuff hell. on her face. It's Doc Cotton. <laughs> no, don't insult <laughs> our, our dainty lass. Old man shaven. I love old man shaven. Yeah. She's wonderful. And she's the only yeah. friend I have. Yeah, and and now that and now that you're um, now that no, you're no, wearing, well, <laughs> oh! oh Christ! I got Google eyed. I got Google batted. <sighs> Get off you fucking pervert! Oh, that's a love bite. I don't think that wearing this dress is going to help. Well, we've basically turned this uh, this game now into um, Francis Ford Coppola's version of Dracula. I mean, I thought it was already. Yeah. yeah. We're playing as but Keanu now, Reeves. Yeah. Well, actually, no. We're playing as Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Keanu Reeves in drag with his Cupid's kettle drums Ooh, proudly on display. I don't know. You're going you're gonna to get him. Yeah, but they're really hard. Just like my nipples in this cold weather. Oh, I Look see. Look at this snow, cold nipple. I only got 1,000 for doing that. Yeah. What, what, killing the vampire thing? Yeah. Right. We're going to have to leave it here. Are we? Oh, look at that. It's covered in blood. 
and, what a mess. and filth. You're a mess. Get yourself down the dry cleaners, love. But yeah. No. We'll see you next time. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Hey. <laughs>